Hello and welcome to today's European SharePoint Office 365 and Azure Community How-To Video. My name is Shane and I am delighted to be joined by Oliver Workus, who will be talking to you about Microsoft Forms. Thank you very much, Shane, for the kind introduction. Um, Microsoft Forms is a new addition to the Office 365 family of application. It's currently available for EDU tenants, but Microsoft is just starting the rollout to commercial tenants as well. If Microsoft Forms is not available to you right now, it pretty much will be soon. We at Soft Landing are using Microsoft Forms already for internal service. But what is Microsoft Forms? Despite its confusing name, it's not another custom Forms application like InfoPath or Power Apps. In fact, it's an app that allows organizations to create nice looking surveys and questionnaires. So, I don't want to take long over the introduction, so let's jump right in. To be able to use Microsoft Forms, simply navigate to forms.office.com and log in with your organization credentials. On the landing page here, you have the option to view your existing forms or to create a new one. Let's create a new survey and see how this is working. So let's click on new form here. And uh, this is the online editor that uh, Microsoft Forms is offering. So first let's give that a name. Um, how about we use Office 365 collaboration. And we can add a description here. Oh, sorry, that's a typo. So, collaboration. So now we, I can add my question here. And as soon as I click on this button, I have four different options. So choice means I can create a question and uh, the, pre, uh, the prepared answers are based on choice fields. Text means um, a user is able to add text or to answer that question by entering text. We can have a rating and we can answer a question by providing a date. In my example, I would like to continue with the choice option here. So I click on choice. And now I have the option to add my first question. So let's go ahead with that. And let's ask for what is your favorite collaboration tool in Office 365. So now we have different options. Option one could be, let's say, Microsoft Teams. Option two can be, let's say, Office Groups. Let's add another option here and go for Yammer. And I would like to add the other option as well, which means here users are able to add their own favorite um, collaboration tool in Office 365. So this is how the basic editor is looking like. But to be honest, um, this question here is looking, well, not that pretty. So let's click on this icon here and we can insert some media as a background image, for example. So let me do that right now. I'm clicking here. I would like to add an image. Um, let's upload an image and go to my desktop here and see if I can find one. Oh, take this one. So let's upload that image. Just takes a couple of seconds, and here we go. So this is this is our image here. Okay, now we can have a preview of our um, questionnaire here. Let's click on preview, and this is how the question would look like currently. There's another option as well. So let me show this. You can remove that image from the question, and 
you can add a, uh, a so-called theme here. So if you click on the theme button here, there are some predefined themes you can use, and you can even upload your own image. And just let me upload this uh, the image again. This one here. Again, this will take just a few seconds. And here we go. So this is how our um, question is looking like right now. I think that's 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 very pretty. So click on preview here. So this is how this questionnaire would be presented to the users. Okay, let's go back. The next step is, um, so after the survey has been created now, uh, you can publish it by clicking on the share button here. You can find the share button on the upper right corner of the, uh, the editor screen here. And let me click on this. And here you have several options. So, so the options are only people in my own organization can respond or anyone with this link can respond to this question. And this is very interesting because with uh, Microsoft Forms we can create anonymous service which wasn't possible in SharePoint. So let's let's start with any people in my organization can respond. And as you can see here, a Microsoft Forms questionnaire is shared by providing a link. And usually you would take that link and send it out to the co-workers in your organization. Um, or you can take that link and send it out to um, people outside of your organization to enable them to answer your questionnaire. In my example, I would like to do it a little bit differently. So what I would like to do is I would like to show you how a Microsoft Forms questionnaire is looking like for people within your organization and people outside of your organization. So let's start with copying that link here and create another window. Paste that link here and click on. OK. So now I'm logged in. I'm, I'm a user in my organization right now, and you can see uh, here's a greeting. Hi, Oliver. When you submit this form, the owner will be able to see your name and the email address. So this is how this questionnaire looks like for a user within the current organization. OK, let's, let me just answer this. I go for Microsoft Teams, and I click Submit. So thanks. Your response was submitted. OK, so this is how the questionnaire would look like for a user within your organization. Now go back to Forms and let me open a new in private window. And in this in private window, I'm pasting in the link as well. But now I'm an anonymous user. I'm not a user of the current organization anymore. I used in the private window. and. This is how the survey looks like for someone who is outside of your organization. OK, now you get a logged in screen here. But that is something we would like to avoid when we are creating an anonymous survey. So let's fix that. Close this window here. I go back to Forms. What I need to do now is I need to click on the Settings. Go to the Settings here and have a look at the settings. So and I need to change from only people in my organization can respond to anyone with the link can respond. So this makes my survey a truly anonymous survey. OK, let's close the settings window. Go back to Edge. Oops, that was, that was the wrong link. I need to open a new in private window. Let me paste in that link again, click on enter, and now this should work as expected. Yes, you can see um, the greeting line here is, is not displayed right now because I'm an anonymous user. 
And this anonymous user is now clicking on Office Groups and is clicking on Submit. Okay, the response was submitted and this is how uh, a survey in Microsoft Forms looks like for a user outside of the current organization. Okay, after the survey has been created now, let's have a look at the responses. You may have noticed that on the editor here, there's another tab. Here we have the questions tab and here's the, the responses tab. So if you click on the responses tab here, you can see, okay, we have two answers. And this is another great feature of Microsoft Forms. Um, responses are um, collected or recorded almost immediately. So as soon as someone is answering your questionnaire, um, you can see that answer on the responses tab here. So what else do we see? So we see that we have two responses. It takes an average of 22 seconds to, uh, to answer that survey. And the survey is currently active. And we can also have a look on the results here. So on the lower part of that screen, you can see the question, what is your favorite collaboration tool in Office 365? And you can see we have two answers, Microsoft Teams and Office Groups. You can even have a detailed view on the results. If you click on view results here, then a new window is opening up and you can see the answers of each individual who has answered your questionnaire. So the logged in user, so Oliver Verkus was the first who was answering that question here. So I'm um, responder number one. You can see that I answered with Microsoft Teams. And here is the anonymous user. So this is the, the user that used the uh, in private window in Edge to answer that questionnaire. And you can see this user answered Office Groups. Okay, let's go back. And here's another cool option that you have in uh, Microsoft Forms. You can even ex export um, the results to an Excel sheet if you click on this link here. So let's do that right now and see if it's working. Yes, okay, let's open up Excel and have a look at the responses. So this is uh, the, the sample quest sheet, um, spreadsheet you get from Microsoft Forms and you can see the two email addresses here, there's just one name. The second one was the anonymous user, so we don't have a name here. And you can do, you can use this Excel sheet for a further evaluation of your survey responses. So let's close this and have a look here on the questions tab again. So this was my question. These are all the responses and let's have a quick look on the additional settings you have in uh, Microsoft Forms. So the first setting was um, anyone with that link can respond. So this makes this survey an anonymous survey. And if you click on only people in my organization can respond, then you need to log in to Microsoft Forms before you able um, to answer that question. Here are some additional options. You can um, provide a start date, an end date, and you can even shuffle the questions to make it more interesting for your users to answer your questionnaire. So Microsoft Forms is a great new application if you're looking for options to create nice, pretty looking surveys. Now you can even create anonymous surveys, which is something you can't do with SharePoint. You can even answer a survey on a mobile device like a smartphone. And I think there's even a preview here. So let's click on mobile. This is how your questionnaire would look on a mobile device. There's even more. Microsoft Forms integrates with um, Microsoft Flow, which means that you can add actions or workflows to your um, to your survey. So let's have a look on that very quickly. So here is Microsoft Forms 
And here's a list of all the actions, all the Microsoft Forms templates that you can use in Microsoft Flow to add additional functionality to your forms and to your survey. I think Microsoft Forms is a great addition to the Office 365 family of applications and I would like to encourage my audience to try out Microsoft Forms once it is available to your tenant.